Holy dude. President, when I went to go shake his hand, I tripped and kind of punched him. In the neck. In the neck? I tripped. You sucker punched the President in the neck? You just love making me look like an asshole, don't you? You know, you should have been a tabloid journalist. Oh, screw you. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that your subject. Both your parents were killed by tabloid journalists. Ha uh ha. -huh. Where are we going, anyway? Uh <laughs> Just hear me out. You said we were gonna go play mini golf. <laughs> Respectfully, Professor. I can't actually believe you fell for that. I love mini golf. Yeah. Um, listen. There's this secret military base. Oh, please, not another bullshit website conspiracy. It's not bullshit. They're doing illegal scientific research. Turn the car around. Human experiment, Frank. Turn the car around. Frank! Please, Frank! <laughs> All the times we've talked after class, have I ever intimated that I wanted to return to Willamette? It'll be fine. You need to relax. Yeah, she says before the screaming starts. Ugh. You're the one who always says that I take crap photos on my phone. You do. So, who better to learn than from a world-class photographer? That's my camera. Yeah, it was hanging in your closet. Which was locked. Not very well. Listen, the source says body bags going in and out. Rumors of human trials, abandoned missile site? Come on, Frank. How can you say no to this? No. Frank. This is our chance. Please. All right, when well, I'm driving. What? No. This is my car. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, old Dan Tucker, you're too late to go for supper. We 
wait, 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 wait. All right. Some ground rules. This is my story now. What? You are here to learn. Remember two minutes ago, this is my story. You are here to watch and learn how a real investigative journalist does his shit in the field. With nothing but his notes, his camera, and his fucking balls. You got it? Wow. Number two. Your source said illegal human experimentation, which means there may be some shit you do not want to see. Yeah? If that happens, you will stay cool. You will get the notes, I'll take the pictures, We'll get the story, and we'll get out. Okay. You want to break the story, you don't want the story to break you. Got it. Keep your eye on the prize, okay? All right. This goes well, you get the next one. Fist bump. Uh, no. Come on, just do it. I, I, no, I can't. Too cool for school, huh? I see. We got some work to do. Crazy old mofo. Your contacts say how to get inside. Yeah. There's a security card hidden in a shed somewhere. All right, then. Here we go. There's a shed. I'll check it. You keep an eye out. Yeah. You got it. Found it. Now what? It opens a door nearby. Come on. Okay, just slow down, Nancy Drew. I don't want to get shot, okay? What are you doing? Oh my god. You killed him? What? No, nah, no, nah, he's just sleeping. Oh. Uh, okay. No way this is some reservist training center. Those guys were dressed for combat. And what's with the masks? I saw them. Look, can you just calm down a bit? Whatever's here, we're not leaving without it. It's a promise. Oh, yeah. Knew you had a Frank West in there somewhere. Shut up. Wait up! Shh! I heard something. Oh, my God. Get some pictures. Gee, you think? I have done this before, you know. Now I'm thinking about it. Zombies, Vic. I know. It's just... They were people once. Look, it was them or me. Can we just get on with the reportage? All right, all right. I'm with you. Bingo. Some kind of laboratory? You take notes, I'm gonna shoot this stuff. I think this equipment is for stimulating changes in the brain. What, are you a med student too? Nah. I just read a lot of sci-fi.
Zombrex. This stuff suppresses zombieism if you get bit. Yeah, but everyone's immune to the parasite now. Shit. Where do they even get these zombies? Look, we don't need all the answers, just enough to sell the story. Come on, let's keep moving. Too dark. Turn on your night vision filter. My what now? Oh, I added a bunch of new filters to your camera, so after the prerequisite amount of old man grumbling, give it a try. Huh. Neat. Anything interesting? I'm looking, I'm looking. This is some kind of surveillance room. Come on, let's take a look. Physically, she's symptom-free. Now, that's a big improvement. Otherwise, no change. Why am I looking at this? We're not improving the treatment, we're perfecting it. What the client is expecting, it's... This is the type of project that requires a lifetime of research. Now, the progress you see is... If you can't meet the deadline, Doctor, you'll be replaced. Put this one with the others. But what for? For observation. They're trying to create something. Shit. Frank, we're gonna stop these assholes, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. We get the story, we get out, we get paid. That's what we do. That's all we do. Huh. Something you want to say? Always. Shit, this door is code locked. You can hack the code with your spectrum analyzer. Let me guess. You messed with my camera again, right? You're a quick one. Uh, that's what she said. This is subject 324B21. You may begin. I've never seen a zombie freak out like this before. God, Frank. Look at her. She's suffering. Yeah, and the only way forward is through this chamber. <laughs> Who wants barbecue? No? No one? Holy shit, Frank. This is some atrocity level shit going on here, and the best you can do is crack wise? That is unfair. I have photographed things and thought about things. You don't actually care what's happening to these people, do you? Look, let's just get what we came for and get out of here, okay? Okay? Wow. God. Look at all this. I need pictures of everything. Their faces are all the same. Yeah. Big family, you think? Shut up. All right, no screwing around. Just get these shots and go. There's something in there. Try your spectrum analyzer. It should be able to see inside. It's another one. What are these bastards doing? You know what this is? Yeah. DNA test results. They're cloning people. Manufacturing fodder for zombie research. Experimenting on them, imprisoning them. Vic, this story's gonna win us every award on the planet, so please, please, just stay focused long enough for us to get out of here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. That's someone crying. Vic, we have what we need. Let's go now! Vic, stop! What are you doing? Well, that's creepy. What a shot. Oh, yeah, that's really good. I think I'm testing some. 
We've got a bio-weaponized version of the virus. What the hell are you doing? What happened to get the story and get out? I couldn't just... I couldn't just... Stay calm, Vic. That's what I said. Stay fucking calm. Now you put us both in danger. You were just gonna leave her? Just... use her? We For need to what? get out of here. Do you understand me? For your pictures! Your stupid pictures! I'm a reporter, Vic. That's what I do. I report. And if you can't do the same, if you can't take yourself out of the picture, then you should get the hell out of here! Oh, shit. Go, go, go! Five seconds. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Son of a bitch! Strong suit. <laughs> Just kind of stuffy in here, don't you think? It's a little fresh air, you know. <laughs>
I really thought that would work. All right, well, it seems I have some time on my hands. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I know who you are. Colonel Brad Park, commander of the ZDC. I'm up on my zombie news, thank you very much. Of course you are. Well, then you also know that the ZDC's mandate is to respond to zombies on U.S. soil. Yes, and confine and silence anybody who knows the truth. Well, I'll up on it, thank you. It's happening again in Willamette. What is? An outbreak. I didn't see anything on the news. How long has it been going on? Going on six weeks now. Really? It's a long time to silence an entire town. Not for them. Who? Oh, the Pentagon. Oh, shit. What did you see there? You know what I saw. Nobody knows, Frank. The only reason I found out is because somebody screwed up and passed me a top-level report. This reservist training center, I have yet to see anyone who's actually stationed there. All communications in and out of the town are gone. Hell, the satellite photos have been updated in four months. It is being covered up. But... <clears throat> All that pales in comparison to the mystery of why you, Frank West, are teaching a goddamn night class instead of being two steps ahead of me on this. I quit. You quit? Yes, I quit. Do you know how many outbreaks I've been part of? How many I've covered? And what thanks have I got? Huh? Nothing. No thank yous, no flowers. Just a contact book filled with dead people. National Headline Award 2006. You exposed the first zombie outbreak on U.S. soil. Photographed the whole thing. You got some medals, a few letters behind your name. Honorary, of course. Yeah, but let's get to the point. Three weeks later, I tried to expose the Pentagon and the entire U.S. government for their involvement with it, and they buried me! Because you didn't have sufficient evidence. You come with me to Willamette. We expose this bullshit. And you do it right this time. Frank. Frank, there's a lot more stake here than just one town. No. I'm out. Whoever breaks this, they're in for some big gains. Maybe even win back something. But actually, I'm surprised that you let an amateur rip this up from under you. What the hell are you talking about? This is one of your students, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, uh, I think you... Whoops. <clears throat> team you've assembled. Coming up on Willamette. Sure, kill your discretion.
keep saying that? Oh, oh man, somebody broke your helicopter. There's that key I've heard so much about. Hold them off! We need some of this gear! Hold them off? With what? Grab a gun, Frank! are the worst. All right, let's get out of here. Come on! All right. We need cover. That hotel looks good. Eh, three stars the best. You ever stop clowning? I should take a good look around. Fine, just meet me at the hotel. here before they see ya hey dude come on I've got a killer hiding spot all right grab a gun I got a shit ton of them can we get a room separate beds though oh you're hilarious you know technically speaking you'd be our first guest what do you mean are you guys from out of town or something all this shit started on Black Friday which not coincidentally was the day after the grand opening sale you're saying this mall wasn't even open one day before it got destroyed by zombies we gotta move. That door leads to the maintenance hallway? Yeah, but the manager locked himself in there when he got bit. Been trying to bust it down for, like, ever. Ah, shit. You were an asshole, Ted, but you didn't deserve this. I'm Connor, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm investigating the outbreak. You know anything about how it started? I know these military assholes were guarding something super secret near the mall front entrance, but there was this journalist. What journalist? And she had a boy's name. Can't remember. Vic. Where's Vic now? She was holed up in the mall security center for a while. Might still be there. We should head for the security center. Might be some weapons there. Good plan. Except I'm going solo. What? Look, this outbreak is almost certainly some kind of test. It's probably run by these military jerk-offs. And now I need to find out why. And I'm not going to be able to do that with some flatfoot holding my leash. No offense. All right. I'll head into town, look into relief efforts. You learn something, you clue me in. Yeah, if I get time. All right, I'm out of here. There's a militia forming out in West Ridge. I'm gonna join up and kill a few more of these pricks. Later, bros. Good luck to you, West. The luck I got. What I need is a big, wet, juicy scoop. Zombification used to take days. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh. What happened? Did you kill them all? You been here long? You know anything about a reporter named Vic? Uh, yeah, yeah. She was holed up in this room for a while. Left some of her stuff here. Go on. Take a look. And hey, I owe you one, pal. I was running a shop here till someone left the goddamn front door open. You need something? Come see me in a few. That's Vic's handwriting on the wall. Must be the place. Front entrance. Huh. This is military hardware. It looks like Vic's been using it to upload reports. Shit! 
Shit, she hasn't been here for weeks. All right, so the outbreak started at the mall's front entrance, and Connor said this PMC was guarding the entrance. Well, I think I need to go take a little look myself. Hey, before you head out, something you ought to know. Heard you talking to yourself. If you're heading to the front entrance, you should take the garage towards Medieval Village. Every other way's been sealed off since the military showed up. Careful, though. Those idiots with the gas masks have built some kind of stronghold out in Medieval Village. You go, you better go ready for a fight. Better stock up while you can. Huh. Okay. I saw that. She's been uploading some kind of reports. I found her first one. Let me play for you. All right, Big Chu, day one. Willamette is lost. Full scale outbreak, the horde is everywhere. Thousands, maybe tens of thousands, dead. These paramilitary asshats are just a piece of the puzzle. The government did this. And when I prove that, when I unmask the masterminds, well. Maybe I'll convince even the mighty Frank West that journalism is worth more than a fat paycheck. That's about a month old. Shit! She's way ahead of me! I'll try to find some more. In the meantime, keep an eye out for those terminals. Park out. Beg pardon, my lord, but this is the fountain land of the mighty Queen Sandra! So ye can go and fuck us right off! Well, hey there! I did not know the historical shithead society was in town. What did you just say to me? Well, if Queen Sandra is half as inbred as she sounds, then she's my kind of lady. Shit, shit, You'll pay for shit. that! Your mother was a gopher and your father smells of body spray. Hey! Open up! So I can teach this old fart a lesson! Why? I am too busy for this! Hey, Tin Man! I'm not the bad guy! going on here? Bad, I just killed everyone who knows the entry code. It is amazing how useful this filter is. That's not right. What the hell am I even looking at?
It says all these people were lined up for the big Black Friday sale. Guess they got more than they bargained for. Soldiers didn't do this. And the zombies definitely didn't do this. So what the hell is going on here? Oh, my God. Look at this. I've been trying to get in here for weeks. Holy shit. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Get out of here! Calm down, pal. There's plenty to go around. Hey, buddy. My scene. Beat it. Oh, you're Frank West. You, you're the hero of Willamette. Hey, man, name's Darcy. We should totally work together, you know? Share the story. Right. Seriously, hey, oh, you have to meet my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, editor, Paula. She's, she's got a podcast, this really popular podcast. She's been investigating these Obscurus guys for weeks. Obscurus? That's the name of this outfit? Yeah, Paula's an expert on them. You know, actually, I would love to meet your girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I, I think she's at City Hall in Old Town. Yeah, I, go talk to her. Shit, I can't wait to see her face when she hears I got Frank West working for us. Damn! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. See you around. Well, Willamette, you're certainly still full of surprises. So this guy, Brad Park, director of CDC, says there's an outbreak in Willamette, and little Vicky Chu is already there, getting the scoop. My scoop. So, we're flying over Willamette. Wham! Rocket hits us. I quickly learned two things. One, Vic's been here for goddamn weeks. She took an interest in this paramilitary group and the goings-on at the mall's front entrance, which, and this is the second thing I learned, turns out to be the bloodiest ugliest, weirdest thing I have ever seen. Definitely not front page material, depending on the publication. So Obscurus isn't the only act in town, but they sure ain't handing out blankets either. So I'm heading into Willamette. Maybe find out what they're up to and who's footing the bill. Fingers crossed. Uh, hello? Is this Frank West, savior of Willamette? Yes. Though I also answered a hey asshole or Frank who? Yeah, I'm Paula, as in the undead gospel of It's my zombie podcast! Darcy gave me your number! Oh, brother. So, uh, I hear you have something for me? Yeah, meet me at the archives department at City Hall. The door's around back. And Frank, come alone. God damn, my fans are weird. Hey, you! Come over here and give me a hand with something. There's like a million zombies out there, and I'm gonna drive through them. Help me out for a second? Uh, with what? We're gonna get creative. Grab that blueprint, will ya? All right, let's put this baby together. Come on! Wow, you've never done this before, have you? I only took shop class to meet girls. Well, I think my chances are better on my own. All right, here. You give it a try. Uh, thanks. What ifs? I'll open the gate for you. May as well roll up to City Hall and start?
break. Over here. Are you Darcy's girlfriend? What's going on here? I'm his editor. And this was a major obscurus outpost until 40 minutes ago. Wait a minute. You're Paula? You sound totally different on the radio. Oh, yeah, that's my character. Character? Yeah, I realize no one listens to me unless I'm yelling all the time. And also, it's kind of fun. Uh... So, if you're ready to listen, maybe you should look around and see what Obscurus was doing here. Right. I will. Thank you. This says they have a reconnaissance outpost at the top of the Dodds drugstore. And just what are they reconnoitering? Flip car, car on a roof. Do you know what these are? A trail of destruction. And Obscurus was following it. It looks like Obscurus was searching through the filing cabinets. Oh, I need to be closer. The sewer and sanitary records are missing. Those sewers run pretty deep. Who knows what lurks below? They're looking for something. And it's something pretty dangerous. Do you know anything about this outpost at Dodd's Drugs? Yeah. There's been a sniper camped out there for weeks. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Sounds good. Just so you know, all 512 of my podcast subscribers are gonna be pretty excited about us working together. Yeah. Well, uh, I know I am. See ya. Hey, Brad. So... Our mercenary friends are calling themselves Obscurus. These types don't usually keep the same name from off to off. But I'll look into it. Speaking of ops, I think they're running a manhunt or possibly some other kind of hunt. Clean your out. Will do. Well, this is Dodd's drugs. The outpost must be on the second floor. Now we just gotta get up there. Holy shit. No zombie could have done this. Or at least I hope not. Large game tranquilizers. Some of these are empty. Whatever they're hunting, I think it's hunting them back. Sounds like they're fighting something. I wonder if I can listen in. after. Huh. Guess I know where I'm headed next. Hey, it's Paula. While you're out there, I need you to run down a few stories for the podcast. If I get around to it. Aye, I'm sending you what I got. Now go forth, Apostle Frank. Get the story. Find the truth. I'll call you later. You're worth writing home about. <sighs> Paula! I was, uh, just about to call you. The junkyard is crawling with obscure soldiers. Yeah, I was just gonna... Hey, why don't you stay here and cover me? Yeah? Good call. I got your back. Lovely. Copy that. We'll be there shortly. All right, make it quick. You were attacked by an armed group yesterday. They killed two of your men? One was a man, the other a woman. Tenure officers and friends. I know where they're gonna hit you next. I know how many are going, I know the name of the leader. I know where they hide their food. With that kind of information, it could prevent a lot of unnecessary death. What do you want? 30 minutes, off the record. What the hell are you doing, Vic? Commander, I found this civilian messing around with one of our computers. Darcy. Put him under watch. Get him a meal and a shower. He stinks like shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, Miss Chu, you can ask your questions. Lieutenant, she's coming with us. What are you getting yourself into, Vic? Mr. West! It's a 
shame you're not proving as useful as your friend. Take care of him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just another dirty peeping car. Scoop on me by cozying up with the creeps? Frank, over here. Those bastards took Darcy. You see which way they went? Westridge, I think. You're going after them, right? You'll save Darcy? Uh, probably, but not on purpose. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can figure out where they were going. You go. I'll call you when I have something. Hey, Brad. Obscurus is hunting something. I honestly think it's some kind of horrible zombie monster. Monster? Are you serious? Yeah, I think it's whatever attacked the mall. I'm off to Westridge to track it. I'll talk to you later. Wait, Frank. Tell me. Hello, Paula. Frank, Obscurus has set a trap at the dam. They're gonna catch it there. Really? This shit I gotta see. Talk later. Wait, Frank, tell me! Hey, stay away! Okay, Apostle Frank. I've got weird shit going down. Dead bodies stuffed with presents like goodie bags. Oh, that's clever. Kind of gross. Shit. You guys are lost. Ah. God damn it. What's your business here? What? What in hell are you doing here, boy? What the hell are you talking about? What am I doing here? These pig-smelling idiots drugged and dragged me here. That's what I'm doing here. Mm. You a photographer? Yes, I work for National Geographic. They sent me up here to shoot the local indigenous vermin. Oh, look! I found you all. <laughs> Great. Two. No food, they send us two goddamn reporters. Whoa, 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 wait. Vic? Was Vic here? She with you? Not really, but I'm kind of her professor. So you got pull with her? Theoretically, yes. Listen, we ain't nothing but good, honest people here. Before this, I was a rancher. A plumber, auction caller, a butcher. Now with soldiers, Frank. World ain't the same place. <laughs> you wanna stay in Willamette? You wanna take your pictures? You're gonna have to be a soldier too. My soldier. This... this Vic bitch? I took her in. Shared our supplies with her. Then she wanted nothing but questions. All about our raids on these military assholes. What? Where? How many weapons we got? <laughs> I thought she wanted in. I thought she wanted in. Now, now my raiders are out there pinned down in a goddamn ambush because they knew that we was coming. Okay, okay, I get the problem. I can deal with Vic, all right? 
But I need something from you in return. Don't everyone? <laughs> I need into that dam. Huh. No, listen to me. These people are up to something, okay? I need to find out what it is. Well, Frank, only one who might know her way into that dam is my engineer Hammond. She was leading that raid. The one that your little buddy sold us upriver on. Listen, I'm your best option, okay? Let me go and deal with this. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's. But hey, don't fuck this up, West. You're one of mine now. Give him the details. Come on, West, let's go. We gotta help our people. All right, uh, all right, what's the story? Hammond took a few of hers up to Willamette Junior High. Obscurus has them pinned down. No shots fired yet, but that won't last. I don't get it. Why are you guys poking that particular badger? There's gotta be other supplies you could be going after. Tom wants to send a message. I get that impression. Look, Hammond's capable, but she can't hold out for long. You better get up there fast or else Tom will want to poke you next, you hear me? Right, the junior high, I'm on my way. Tom can keep his pokers to himself, thanks. Oh, what the hell, man? Frank, I've been trying to reach you for hours. Huh? I still haven't heard from Darcy. What if... What if they're torturing him for information? What? I'm not sure. I'm dealing with something else right now. I'm to talk to you later. Sounds like someone fired the first shot. Hang on, Engineer. Get my golden ticket. You got a name? Frank West, photojournalist. Ah, should have guessed it. Now hurry up. <sighs> guys, god damn it. Frank, <sighs> these guys need medical attention. Can you keep Obscurus <sighs> off us? Sure. You play Florence Nightingale, I'll be Rambo. But when this is over, we can switch. <sighs> How about I just owe you one instead? <sighs> Here they come! Oh, thank God. Whew. Make sure that gets bandaged. All right, so you can handle yourself. Yeah, yeah, I covered some wars. Really? Which ones? Uh, listen, Tom said you could get me into the dam. Huh, Tom, right. <laughs> City Keys. Around the side of the dam, there's a service door. That should get you in. How did you get the keys to the city? Well, before everything went to shit, I was the city's chief engineer. Pretty much have the whole place memorized. Huh. And you're just gonna give these to me? Yeah, I talked to Vic. She said you were around for the first outbreak. Yeah. Yeah, I was. What else did she say? Well, there was some other stuff. Right. Well, on that note... Oh, hey, hold up. Uh, my guys have taken a hit. They need a ride back to Tom. Yeah, sorry. Wish I could. Had things to do. Huh. He really is an asshole. Hey, Frank, you still breathing? Yeah, I got tied up in something. You heard a Tom picking. Local dairy farm returned resistance leader. One of his people, Hammond. She's helping me get into the dam where Obscurus set a trap for the monster. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll keep an ear on their radio channels. See what turns up. That'd be a real help, Brad. Thank you. Frank, I just got some analysis back on the reading. This outbreak is immune to the vaccine and to Zombrex. Holy shit. A new strain. An old one. Santa Cabeza old. So don't get bit. 
I'll take it under serious advice. Uh, hello? Who's in there? I, um... I can't see you. I, I, there's a light in the corner. Turn it on. Oh my god, Frank! Hey Darcy, how's it going? You in a little over your head, huh? You came to rescue me? You really are the savior of Willamette. Uh, did you guys make that up, or is there a cult somewhere I should be leaving? Oh man, no, no, Obscurus is in a panic about this monster. I think they know something about it. Something we don't. Yeah. You see, they're a highly funded military contractor, while you, well, you write for your girlfriend's blog. There's gotta be something useful in here. I think it's a briefing room. Come on, ah, untie me! No, 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 you just regain your strength. I got this. It says they've been hunting it since, since before the outbreak occurred. Shit! I bet they created it, like, like in a secret lab. This is a request to send more exosuits to Willamette. For heavy combat. This monster's too fast, too strong for regular weapons. Calder? What is that, an acronym? Project? Name? I'm not sure. But they're terrified of it. It's killed their men, and it wants more. And it's moving through the sewers, so they lured it here. To catch it. I can show you where. Uh, uh, untie me, quick. We'll go together. What the shit was that? The monster. Frank, hey, come on, get me out of here. Sit tight, Darcy. You'll be safe here. Probably. What? Hey, hey, you can't leave me here. Come on, man. Never interviewed a monster before. That's a hell of an exclusive. I'm gonna check that out. Alright, there we go. Now we're looking at something. Okay. Let's have a closer look.
In Old Town, I learned that Obscurus was hunting something. And whatever the hell it is, it's hunting them back. Speaking of psychos, Vic's been up to no good. Caught her selling out survivors in exchange for an exclusive with the Obscurus commander. She's even crazier than I thought. But not as crazy as the wingnut Tom picked, and he takes the cake. Ex-dairy farmer turned fascist. Yeah, we're BFS now. His engineer, Hammond, gave me a key to the dam. That's where Obscurus lured this thing. She seems cool. We're BFFs now. I caught up to Obscurus just in time to see them ship out this calder. Whatever the hell that is. So now I'm going after them. Find out who or what this calder is and why Obscurus is so hell-bent on getting a hold of it. Wes, I'm hearing a lot of radio chatter on Obscurus channels. What's this about a convoy? Obscurus caught the monster and they're moving it by truck. I'm going after him. I'll patch you into the radio chatter. Should help your pursuit. There's something else. I think Calder might be the monster's name. That sounds like a man, not a monster. I'll look into it. <laughs> 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 Sounds like someone's attacking the convoy. Can you tell me who? I don't know. Maybe Tom's been? Pretty gutsy for a bunch of farmers. Brad, I found the container truck. There's something not right, though. I'm gonna investigate. Don't get eaten, Frank. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey, you. Lend a hand, will you? Oh, God. You're Frank West. Look, uh, I'm in bad shape here. I need morphine. There's some at the North Peak safe house. If you grab me a few hits, I'll tell you what we were hauling. Deal? Deal? All right, all right, I'll think about it. Fine, just hurry. Is that you, West? I'm sorry, I, I can't see so good. Oh, yeah. You're a good man, West. But look, I... I can't tell you what we were hauling. But I can say the command, they're calling it a recovery hop. We we're shipping it out of town for R&D purposes. Interesting. Okay, if you find a blanket, or some booze, yeah, I just... All right, now what the hell is going on here? I have absolutely no idea. But whatever it is, it's Godzilla strong, has friends, and sports a serious hate on for Obscurus. I'm gonna... What was that? My Pulitzer. You gotta go. Rocket wreck. into the old sewer tunnels. Brad, you there? Shit. I can't see you, but you sure sound pissed. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, I was just, uh... 
right now. research director. You must come to Westridge so we can meet. Huh. Is this gonna be an on-the-record conversation, Dr. Blackburn? Tell the ZDC I want to be evacuated by helicopter in the next 48 hours. In exchange, I have information. I'll see what I can do. Until then, why don't you whet my appetite a little? I didn't start the outbreak, Mr. West. We were here long before that. Years before. Do you remember a certain scientist by the name of... Doctor? Dr. Blackburn. Hmm. That did not sound good. Frank, I just got word that people are being held prisoner at the pirate ship in Caribbean Cove. Better go check it out, in case they do something crazy. This should be interesting. Ah. Hey, Brad. Can you arrange a covert evac for an obscure scientist? That would be my pleasure. In the meantime, I caught another one of Vic's reports. Take a listen. Heard the ambush ended with gunfire. I have no idea if Hammond made it out alive. The end justifies the means, right? Using people as resources to get the next piece of the story? I keep thinking, this is exactly what Frank would do. Yes, Vic, I am all the evils in the world. Well, you did leave a helpless man tied up in a dark room 20 feet from a live firefight. Whatever, he was fine. Uh-huh, sure he was. Let me start out the evac. Park out. Asshole. You gotta get me out of here, she's... Don't whoa, whoa. move! Whoa, easy, easy. Frank? Vic? What? what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Well, I am definitely not conspiring with a paramilitary group. Not doing that, Vic. That's not what I'm doing. And I'm not torturing a woman for a quote while a bunch of trigger-happy jarheads guard the door. I'm not doing that either. That's yeah, not what I'm doing. Shut up! That's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Because I'm having a hard time seeing it. I am trying to figure out who these soldiers are working for, how the outbreak began, and what these assholes did. You sold out Hammond and her people. They almost got killed. Do you know that? Are you aware of that? The commander issued a no-kill order, and then Tom's people attacked first. And you believe that? How fucking naive are you? Hello? Shut it! No, 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 I know what this is about. You're trying to get the big story, right? The big scoop. <laughs> this is what this is all about for you, isn't it? Just take what you want and cash the check. Get out of here, rookie. Poacher. That's all you'll ever be. We need to get out of here. They could come back. Who was that? Friend of yours? Just some troubled youth. What do you want to tell me? Our research at Obscurus, it's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago. Fifteen years? That's back to the original outbreak. Yes, this project was performed at a secret laboratory hidden somewhere here, in Willamette. And let me guess, Obscurus has been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. The work that went on there, it has the potential to change the very nature of human existence. Wow, shit. Here, look. Take a picture if you want. That's Dr. Barnaby. He basically created zombieism. The secret laboratory and the research project were both his, and both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues for years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is, I will buy you a helicopter. Then go to the Golden Apple Winery. Barnaby built it as a front to hide the lab. Look in the cellar. I'll do that. 
But I have one more question, Dr. Blackburn. What's with the cat? What? Oh, he loved that fucking cat. Now listen. All the fighting will have attracted the Horde. There's an exosuit in the other room. Put it on and draw them off so I can escape. Go. Go on, Mr. West. You need to draw them off. Oh, I... Ah! I'm in business now! You'll find what you're looking for in that lab. Oh, yeah. Now we're playing with power. Gosh, for me? the evidence we've been looking for. Roger. Wow. Nice digs, Mark. Hey Brad, I found the lab. Obscurus was already here, though. They leave anything behind? Yeah, maybe. The files are all gone, shit! Easy. Mr. Flamel, what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> I guess Barnaby really did love his cat. Shit! They took Barnaby's computer... stuff. I ever love to get my hands on that. Damn it! It looks like Obscurus confiscated everything. Makes sense. They keep it in some kind of intelligence lockup. Probably at the base. Oh, right! So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Oh, hold on. There's another door. I wonder. F-L-A-M-E-L. -E Barnaby, you huge idiot. Holy shit. Okay. Pictures. Lots of pictures.
Calder. I don't know what it is. Big, that's for sure. And it's got friends. Some kind of new zombie, smart zombie, murder zombie? I don't know. Note to self, come up with a better name than murder zombie. Then I was contacted by Dr. Diane Blackburn, an obscure scientist and a one-time associate of Dr. Barnaby. Yeah, you remember that old fruit, right? Basically invented zombieism, died years back in the original Willamette outbreak. His personal notes and research were never found. Blackburn told me about a secret lab up at the Golden Apple Winery. I checked it out. Weird science, weird zombies, weird, weird, and more weird. Basically, I got nothing for him. Obscurus had already taken all of Barnaby's files. Whatever he was working on, Obscurus wanted it bad. Real bad. And that means it's got to be real good. All right. I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. Ammon, it's Frank West. Yeah, look, I need your help breaking to the Obscurus base. A little busy right now, Frank. Oh, come on, it'll take what, an hour, tops? Why are you whispering? You wanna talk? Come find me in West Ridge, in the big houses. I'm off the radar. Talk later. Wait, wait, which, which house? Damn it! Oh, great. Looks like I'll be knocking on some doors. Hey. What happened to you? Tom blamed me for the raid, even though he knew it wasn't our fault. He's insane. He's locked people in the cellar, he's banished people, he's put people on trial like he's Henry VIII. And then there's these rumors of people disappearing without a trace. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill him. And I'm hoping you're gonna help. So what's first? There's civilians at Tom's farm. We need to get them somewhere safe. I'll take care of it. You just get me into that base. We're on it. All due respect, boss, but mounting a siege isn't exactly our style. We'll get slaughtered. Think positive, Connor. I'm positive we'll get slaughtered. Leave the base to me and Jordan. You three, focus on the evacuation. I saw a couple of buses out by the mall. We could use those to move people. Good idea. Jessa, could you get them running? Yeah, I'll work my magic. That bitch will be locked and loaded. Yeah, and I'll get some salvage to reinforce the exterior. Oh, that's nice. Tank bus! Connor, I need you to do something for me. Do not put me on water duty. The well's contaminated. This is high school football all over again. Come on, give me something important to do. I am. Without water, we die. We'll need enough for at least 30 people. Shaw just got a ton of bottled water. Start there. Fetch water, Connor. Pack the bags, Connor. Shut them the designated apocalypse bitch. Ah, oh, Muffin. Good news, Frank. We have a plan that will get you into that base and give Fontana something to think about. Nice. Wait, who? Commander Fontana, the apple in charge of this entire operation. Oh, yeah. Blondish, hard ass. I've seen her around. Uh-huh. Call me when you've cleared out that pool hall. We got some trouble in paradise, Brad. Hammond needs my help in a coup against Tom. Huh. Let me know where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Pool Hall is now 100% zombie free. Great. We'll start moving the people over there. I'll meet you outside the base. <sighs> this post-apocalyptic barter system is really working for me. Your mama in an old tall bag. Oh, good day. There you are. Grab that package and we'll get started. Jar has it a piss-poor job on this wall, so we're gonna blow it up. 
Look for a weak spot with that fancy camera of yours. Found it. Good. Now set the charge and get Claire. Now get Claire, Frank. I said get Claire. God damn, not exactly subtle. You said you wanted in. You're in. Shouldn't we do something about this alarm? Not yet. So keep moving. I need to get him back. Hey, hey, hey! What's where you're aiming that thing? find Barnaby's research. Brad said it'd be in some kind of intelligence lockup. Gonna need to look around. West, I intercepted another one of Vic's reports. Fine, play it. Frank is back in Willamette. And surprise, he brought a stupid smug face with him. <laughs> you know, for a second, I was actually glad to see him. I thought, finally, together we'll make some progress. Once he sees how the people are doing, he'll... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Screw that guy. You know what? A little radius. If you like. Research facility, huh? Based off the work of the late, great Dr. Barnaby, perhaps? Subject quite like a live one. Hey there, little guy. Too far away. Commander Fontana has reviewed all progress on Project Saturn. No addressee. Right, because that'd be too easy. This brain teasers? What are you gonna send them to college? said all the stuff they took from Barnaby's lab will be in some kind of intel lockup, which is somewhere else. Okay, gotta keep looking. Lockdown terminated. Have a nice day. Screw you, door! So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info.
All right, let's see. November. Yes! Oh, yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm gonna take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Now, let's see. Got my way. Power coming on. All right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas, inventory. Pick it, tag it, cat it. Roger that. Well, call it. Get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on it. Seizure team is inbound. They're gonna be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1,500 hours by seventh failure. And then... September 19th, 2006, Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Entertainment League, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment was incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. The world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, Oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, it is likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last-ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, cause untold death. <laughs> Move! 
Oh, shit. Fontana! You don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. Charlie Squad, redeploy to the basement. Flush him out. I gotta get the hell out of here. way out of here. How the hell do you Obscurus troops get around? What have we here? Ah, ah, still warm. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the Cliffs notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying. Oh, oh, that's a lot of steps. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Partly zombies him into some kind of immortality treatment. Trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first, the client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. <sighs> you plan to make soldiers, aren't you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. You're out of your mind. You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, when, who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes.
assistance. Copy. Negative. Do not come here. <sighs> Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was... well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever, because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. I gotta get out of this death trap and find Calder. I need that hard drive. Oh, God. Somebody, please help! I hope Hammond's coup is a lot less bloody than this. Frank! Frank, can you hear me? Hammond, what's going on? Tom! Let us take us south there! We're not gonna! What? Hammond, are you there? Ah, oh, shit. Keep it together, Hammond. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Oh, wow. Electric fence. Well, I have zero interest in a free defibrillation, thanks. Brad, flashing orange lights. What do they mean? Override lockdown. Nothing gets in or out until the system is reset. There's a panel around back. Hit the reset switch and the exterior doors will open. And that's what I gotta do. Hold on. What about Calder? Saving Hammond won't get you that bullet, sir. I... Yeah, I know, Brad. It's just... I owe her one, all right? All right, what do we got? Open sesame, shitheads. Systems reset, Frank. Get in there fast, or the zombies will get to Hammond before you do. Oh, shit, I hadn't thought about that. <sighs> Hang on, guys, I'm almost there. Attention. Shelter is now secure. Help me, please! Safe house my ass! This place is a freaking death trap! Please help me! <laughs> I'd cry with relief, but I need to focus on not pissing myself. God, I hope Hammond's all right. What do you mean? She's not here? Tom's people took help. her and Jordan. We tried to go back for her, but those hillbilly dicks hit the lockdown. Tom's probably holding her at the farm. I'll go check. Please. Keep the radio on. I'll shout if I learn anything. Please Thanks, bud. Help. Glad you're one of the good guys. Hang on, Hammond. I'm here to rescue you. Shit, that did not sound Jordan, you all right? I am... idiots. Where's Hammond? No idea. I thought she'd be here with you. No, they split us up. Son of a bitch. Tom's gonna kill her, Frank. We'll find her. You stay here and look around. I'll check out the rest of the farm. Is 
Is that music? Coming from his closet? Okay. That's, um, a lot of scuff marks on the ground. Aha! Secret entrance! Wait, what the shit? A secret entrance? For real? No, Hammond. All right, maybe there's some clue as to where they took her. Tom's keys. I bet these open every door on the compound. Kylie Hammond, sentenced to death for the crime of high treason. Holy shit. This is what crazy looks like. Brad, Tom's gonna execute Hammond. He took her to that Kippick cement factory in North Peak. Are you anywhere near there? I wouldn't make it in time, Frank. I need to get ZDC evacs for the civilians now that Obscurus is out of the way. Shit! It's up to me, then. What do you know? Frank West, the hero Willamette deserves. Yep, a shitty hero for America's shittiest town. Are we not human? Huh? Did we not sacrifice everything to preserve us of our own? Is that Tom? Sounds like it's coming from the roof. We give of ourselves so that the group may live. And if someone won't do that, well, they're no better than a zombie. Today, we review the misdeeds of our once trusted allies, who would destroy me out of ambition. Like a sapling growing out of cinders, we built our new community on the ruins of the old world. We aren't just building a community, we're building a new world order! Holy shit. Kylie Hammond, who would tear us apart, is no better than a zombie. What do we do to zombies? God damn it. Maybe I can get up there from one of the other buildings. Kylie, Jade Hammond. Tom, no. For conspiring against your lord, look at me. And commandeering his rightful possessions. And plotting his death. You think you're a leader? You're just a lunatic. What the? You are hereby sentenced to a beheading. In accordance with the laws. Nut job! Huh? Set down by me! <laughs> bitch! <laughs> hey! Over here! Traitor! I, I was just trying to protect you. You're all my people. 
You need him by protection. You call that protection? You, you, you don't understand. Look, a father, he has to make choices for his children. Sometimes... <laughs> ah! Nice. Fish bump. Seriously, come on. What? You know, come on, everybody does it. It's like the end thing. Now we just have to kill a robot zombie marine, and Wilmet will be its old self again. Wait, what? So, there's this zombie in an exosuit, and... Ah, oh, forget it. I need to blow a hole in the sewers. Okay. We can help you with that, at least. I'll have Jordan meet you down there. Thanks, Hammond. You're a real pal. <clears throat> hey, Brad. I'm heading back to the sewers. Hammond's people are gonna clear the way for me. You see? This is what happens when you're not a dick all the time. Too bad you can't see what finger I'm holding. All right, Brad, this is it. I'm going after Calder and getting that hard drive. All right, evac choppers are inbound. And I have a message for you. So, hey, Frank, someone's been accessing these files, and I have a feeling it's probably you. So. If you find my body, do me a favor. Try not to piss on it or anything. What the hell, Vic? I can get her on the radio. What's the point? The point is, to feds like me, there's nothing more dangerous in this world than a journalist who'd stop at nothing to bust my ass. And if there's two of them working together, shit. I think we're past that. We'll see. <laughs> shit! I can't tell my own ass from my elbow. Holy shit. Ready? Sleeping? Frank, what's going on? Are you there? Shut up, shut up! Holy ever loving Christmas. Frank? Listen, evac's coming. Expect updates. No, no, no updates! Holy fuck, the hell. Has to make it back into the wall. There's the wall into the rat. The rat into fox. Fox into wolf. On and on and on. The great unmaking of the chain. Oh, this is new. Where then goes the man? He stays. Lives. Kills. Poisons the sea, bears down the sky! Old age may soon claim him. But soon, even that, he will defeat. We are made of killers. These hands took us men. But now... No, 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 We give back. Hey, see <laughs> ah! Oh, shit, he's mad. <laughs> yeah, I know, big fella. I need that hard drive, and then I need to get out of here with my face intact. <laughs> I've got the hard drive. I'm on route. I need extraction. Brad! Brad! Oh, shit! Fill it up your ass, Calder! Oh, God. I, I, I didn't mean that!
we go. Dr. Russell Barnaby, Epidemiology and Entomology. This storage directory contains all my research into human immortality. It also contains all correspondence with the Pentagon. Come on. I have various documentation, all confirming the involvement of the Secretary of Defense, various yes. generals, yes. aides, well, and wait. even the... You're going places. Namely, the front page of the Times. <laughs> Frank. Hi. Give it to me. Just do it. Come on. Okay. I'm not gonna let you sell this to the highest bidder. This time we're gonna do it the right way. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Step away from the hard drive. Now! <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Bye. So, what? No more mini golf? Hammond needed me. Her tyrant had turned into a psychopath. So we took him down, and Hammond made sure he wouldn't be getting up again. In exchange, Hammond gave me the most important gift of all. Friendship. And more importantly, a big bomb to blast my way into Calder's lair. The sewers. Calder and his posse of creepy, smart zombies had turned them into some kind of den of spooky-ass shit. And Calder himself can talk. Whatever he's become, there's still a little bit of psycho douchebag human still in there. Naturally, I grabbed the intel and booked it. And that would have been where our story ended. Frank West, triumphant hero of Willamette, once again. Vic Chu. Thief. Hellspawn. She stole my evidence. She held a gun to my head, and now it's on. Frank, what's happening? Vic stole my camera! She has the evidence! What? Then get it back! Great advice, Brad! Back off, Frank! I'm serious! No. Give me the goddamn camera! <laughs> Shit! Vic! You've got yourself a big problem! I mean, another big problem! Remember me? I just told you we could talk about this. You hide behind glass. Take all you see. Claim this, take that. Make it all yours. Give nothing back. All right, all right. A, a, a bit heavy, but I agree. I could do better. Tomorrow morning. Give me the camera back. I'm a new man tomorrow, I promise. You are part of the chain, Frank West. And I must break the chain. I know. <laughs> you, you did it. Oh, God, I hate you. Okay. You know what? You hurt my student. You took my story. And now, you've blown up my favorite camera. So be it. Frank West was a zombie lord. Let's roll, weirdo. You all right, Vic? Vic! Where the hell are you going? You left me! Again! Keep it together! Turn it very tight. 
I need you at Kitaro Plaza. I need medical assistance now. Okay, come on. Stay with me, kid. Stay with me. Servers are wiped, and you blew the hard drive to a million pieces, so. <clears throat> hey, um, you weren't really gonna shoot me, were you? No, we're fatal. Oh, like, like the leg? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Fair enough. I deserve that. But listen, if, uh, if it comes up again, can we aim for the right one? It's kind of a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> Frank, I, I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I've had worse. And so will you. That's kind of the shit you go through when you're a good journalist, right? What about being a great journalist? What is that? An SD card? From your camera? Pulled it? Yeah. Before it blew up. Go on. What do you want for it? Oh, jeez. No, I mean it. I'll give you anything. All right. I want the story. My words, your pictures. Big coverage, big impact. Together, 50-50. Yeah, 50-50. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> ah. Plus mini golf. Oh man, not the mini golf. Yeah, okay, mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
now that you've sorted everything out, we need to get to the rendezvous point if we want to lift out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Grab anything you need, and let me know when you're ready to go. Packing enough heat there, Butch Cassidy. Uh, I just fought a monster zombie lord. Did you... did you notice that? The monster zombie lord? I might have seen one. Just a little one. I'll get this gate open. So, did your heart grow three sizes this Christmas, Frank? Come on. We're good now, right? We're good? Let's publish this story. Save the world. Then we'll be good. You need to get out of Rula Metro. Let's go. Catch me first, copper! Oh, jeez. Well, they don't sound very happy. Shit. We're meeting Think the helicopter on the roof of the park of the park and drive. Just over the sky bridge. Oh, good! Nice and convenient! Did everyone get a souvenir? PTSD counts, right? It did for me. I think we pissed them off. Give me a second with this door. <sighs> no, no, no! We don't have a second!
If Frank could have it his way, this is where the story would end. He'd die a hero, sacrificing himself for the good of his friends. You wouldn't need to follow it up to see the mess that unfolded in the months after. But Frank's not here to tell the story his way. He can't load it up with spicy embellishments. Listening to his notes, I kind of wonder how this story would have gone when he told it later. Would he have defeated Fontana in single combat? Refused to conspire with the evil Dr. Blackburn? Added a sweet romance with the city engineer? I'm sure his second book would have sold as well as his first. But Frank's not here to tell his story. So he's got to trust me to do it. Whether he wanted it that way or not. And I say, the truth is better than fiction. <laughs>